Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum, and today I've got a B&M haul. So let's get cracking. Hiya, I'm so sorry I've been away for a while. Um, I've been sort of resting up really. I've got this back problem that's been driving me crazy. I've been working quite a lot of hours. Um, we've got parents evening coming up, so I've been having to do stuff for that. So, um, yeah, I've just been absolutely shattered, <laughs> for want of a better phrase, really. Um, so I've not been going out doing anything or getting any shopping or anything. So, um, yeah, I've just taken a bit of a break. So sorry about that and that I didn't post anything about it. But, yeah, I'm absolutely fine. I just have been off for a, sort of a few days resting and recuperating you know what I mean right <clears throat> I've still got a chest problem I've still got um, my back problem so it's yeah it's just never ending really but um yeah I'm plugging away at it so anyway I went out shopping yesterday so happy that I did um and I went around loads of places absolutely loads of places I was just inspired by the nice weather to get myself out there, you know, and to um, and have a look around the shops and what have you. To be honest, I could have gone on for longer looking around. I wanted to go around a few other shops, but I had so many bags by the time I got back. I thought, no, I cannot carry. I literally cannot carry another thing. So that sort of limited me. But after I've filmed today, hopefully I'll get over to the sorting office because I think all my beauty subscription boxes are over there. And I really want to have a look, see what's in them. So anyway, went to B&M and &M had a right nice look around. I did buy a couple of bits that I've already unpacked, like a jar of coffee and what were the other thing? Yeah, I forget now. Oh, toilet paper, right? But um, but I were desperate for them. So I've actually got those in use. Um, got myself some Kenko coffee. I think it was two seventy nine, something like that for a small jar and just some 99p toilet paper but the rest of my stuff is sitting here and now there's a bit of a gap here and there's a reason for that because i bought a new vase just let me get that first okay so i got myself this i love all these new shaped vases it were eight pounds right it's glass um quite big now the majority of these were in sort of a pinky tone but this one's in a more sort of neutral browny colour. So that's the colour that I wanted. So that is going to be going there. I'll pop it there right now. I'm hoping it looks all right. Anyway, right. I've been to other places as well. So I've got other things that I'm going to change this up a bit with. Because I'm after all these really nice sort of interesting vases to put here. And I have got quite a few, so look out for my Primark haul coming because that I've got some from Primark as well. Anyway, I'll show you what else I got from B and M. Let me put my gigs on. I hope you're all okay. You know, um, I've hardly spoken to anybody. Well, I haven't even looked at my YouTube for the best part of a week. So um, I will get to your messages. If you've left me any messages and things, I will get to them. I also know that a few companies have contacted me and asked me if I wanted to work with them and I haven't even got to them. Um, just because I've been sort of laid up and what have you. Anyway, I've moaned about my illness for long enough. Come on, Kim, get with the programme. Right, let me grab this bag. Right, so first up, I bought these balls for work, right? Now, they were £5 for three, right? But the kids absolutely love them. They're soft enough for the kids to be able to have inside, you know, for the babies to have inside. We've got these. I bought some of these smaller ones, that were about two or three quid, I think, two pounds, maybe from Poundland. But when I saw these bigger ones, I thought, oh, I'm definitely going for them. They're just so soft and squishy and nice for the kiddies to play with. So for those of you that are new to the channel, hi to you, because I know I've got a few new people. And thank you to all the people who've recommended my channel to you. Um, so I work in a childcare setting, so I work with babies up to two years old hence the back problem do you know what i mean because i'm lifting babies all the time but honestly it's worth it i absolutely adore working with young children so um some of these things i buy for the nursery just absolutely love those thought the kids would love them so i'm taking those in tomorrow for um 
I'm sure they will like them. They like the little ones. So, um, yeah, it's just something else to add in. I haven't just bought stuff for the nursery. I bought stuff for myself. All oh, right, I bought myself this candle. Right, this were reduced. It says it were £3.50. It were never. It were £2 I bought that for. It's in the fragrance. What's it say? It says outdoor candle with citronella. All right, I didn't realise that. But, um... It smells really pretty. It's quite, um, it's got a bit of fruitiness about it, but mostly sort of flowers. I just like the packaging of it. I love that it were like one of these little hangy up things, but I will just use it in the house, you know. I thought it were a bargain. It reduced from 350 to two pounds. Like that it's in this glass jar. I go through so many candles. That's another thing for the new people to the channel. I spite burn them, right? <laughs> because my ex-partner hated me burning candles. So now there's just me in my little flat. I can burn as many as I like. And I do. I burn loads. So I've always got a candle on. So that one's actually really nice. And a bargain at £2. I would check them out. Because they, in B&M they usually have like a range of stuff that's reduced. All the time, they seem to be like putting stuff in there. So I love going to that section. Just have a rifle through and see what's there. See if there's hope that I really want. And that candle, I definitely wanted. Right, what else did I buy? Oh, I bought this. Now, this is an outdoor glass. But I was originally going to buy it for work. But do you know what? I like it so much. I might keep it for myself. We'll see. But it were only £2.50. I really like it. I just think it's a great size. I've got some proper glasses now. This is just water, right? But I do like um, a cold drink through a day. And that is so easy to wash. These plastic ones, you can drop them as well. I'm as clumsy as oatmeal, so I'm always dropping stuff. So um, not likely to break. So I may end up keeping that for myself. But um, And then when I get fed up with it, I might take it into work, you know. But I just really liked it. It's ridged and just a really nice sort of outdoor, what is it? Is it a wine glass? Blooming out, you'd get a lot of wine in it though if you're going to fill that with wine. That's half a bottle glass of wine, that, isn't it? You know, might be tempted to have a go at that at some time. Not today because I'm in work tomorrow. But um, maybe Friday, I might try it out, see how much wine actually fits in it. That, it might inspire me to have an old, old half a bottle, you know, in one go. <laughs> Not that I need any tempting on a Friday. But anyway, there's that one. <clears throat> oh, then I bought some paint. Right, now you can get these three for a fiver or two pounds each. But I only needed white. That's for work as well. It's really, really good paint. It's quite thin consistency. But for what we use it for, you know, it's perfect. I bought a red, a blue and a yellow primary colours, you see, last time, but were completely out of white. So I thought this had just tied us on a bit at work because we're doing stuff for Father's Day now, you know. So, yeah, take that in tomorrow. Great. If you've got kiddies or you just use paint, poster paint, because that's all it is, kind of poster paint. But um, it's good. It's all right, you know. I would use it myself if I were painting something. It's it's actually good enough for that. Like I say, it's very thin, but um, but okay, you know, it's okay, and especially for the price, I really like it. So I got that one. Next up, I bought myself a rug. Okay, this was twelve pounds. Were eight? I thought it were eight pounds. No, it was twelve pounds. <laughs> all right. Okay, I made no wonder my bill was so high. Right. Now, it's black. There's a reason it's black. Over there, right, is my sofa. Because I live in a two, for new new subscribers, I live in a two-room flat, not a two-bedroom flat, a two-room flat. I've got a kitchen diner, and then this room where I do my filming is my filming room, my bedroom, and also my living room, right? So, at one side, I use as the living room, and right in front of me here is my bed, okay? And I do my try-ons on the wall next to my bed. So it's a very compact flat. I do have a bathroom as well. But on the floor, near to where I um, where my sofa is, where I sit all the time, I wanted something comfy by my feet, right? Because the carpet here is quite bobbly. It's, it were in here when I moved in. It's quite sort of lumpy, not that comfy. It's not cushioned at all. 
And also, like I said, I'm quite clumsy. I have a tendency to drop stuff. So um, when I'm sitting having a cup of tea and things, inevitably at some point I will spill the tea, right? And then I'm worried about the carpet. So I wanted to get myself a rug that wouldn't show any marks or anything like that. Um, but And it was also nice and comfy to put on the floor next to my feet. So let's open this. I'm definitely keeping it. Okay. It's got a cardboard tube in it. It's a decent size, you know that. I've just hit myself with the tube. All right, there's the tube. All right, it's a decent size for what I want it for, you know. And it's really soft and cosy and, and quite cushioned. It's got this non-slip stuff on the back. But yeah, perfect for what I want it for. I'll be putting that over there in a bit after I've finished filming. So that's that one. My stomach's rumbling. Sorry for the hearing noise. Right, okay. Next, I bought these tea towels. I just thought they were a bargain. I bought two packs, you know. Right, now, uh, they were only pound fifty. I'm not bothered what colour they are. I am literally not bothered what colour they are. They're just drying up me, um, me washing. But I just really liked them. They looked like they were a decent size as well. Oh, they are. They're all right, you know, those. So I've got four for three quid all together. They were also reduced in sale. But my other ones, sometimes, I don't know about you, but sometimes I find tea towels get a bit sort of grubby, you know, looking. So, and I don't want to use them so much. So they are then relegate them to floor cloths. Okay, so I wanted myself some new tea towels and just really liked those. Thought they were great. Two for £1.50 is fantastic. And I don't care what colour they are. And they're quite neutral anyway, aren't they? They're not too bad, just a bit of yellow in them. So, yeah, got those. Very happy with them. I wasn't looking for tea towels, but when I saw them, I thought, no, definitely going for those. What else have I got in my bag? Okay, got these for kiddies. Right, it's so soft and squidgy. It's £1.50. Now, I think you can put water in it. Right, oh, it says splish splash splash disc soak me in water and throw well we probably won't be doing that but kids love textured things i'll have to be careful of these things that they don't bite them off but yeah they love textured things it'll be okay with supervision i think that one it's just really really cute good if you've got an outdoor you know you're wanting to play outside as well with kiddies i bought the splash balls before which are about that big just to take into nursery because I really, really liked them and the kids do like those because they're a different texture. This is really rubbery and quite fun. Like I say, they might be a bit of an issue. Might have to cut those off. We'll see how far can I stretch them without them snapping. They're all right, actually. They stretch for ages without snapping. Yeah, they're okay. I think we'll be all right with that. Really, really nice and squidgy. Short sure kids will enjoy it. Oh, then I bought myself this. Just like the gold colour. They had it in silver as well. It's just for like your um, dish, you know, washing up. Metallic dish brush. Right. So I haven't got a dishwasher, me. So that's why I use a lot of tea towels. But, um, but sometimes you've got like, I've only got one pan. But sometimes that pan needs washing. And, um, yeah, I don't really have a scrubby brush, so I thought I'd get this one. Two quid, though. Thought it were a bargain. Could have got it in silver, like I said, but I quite like the rose gold colour. So, preferred that. And it's very, very scratchy, so hopefully it'll do the job. So, good. That's another one. Bought these for work. Pom-poms. Only two quid. Good for making cards or activities or what have you. You know, doing stuff with the kiddies. We've, we did have some, but um, but we're out. So, like I say, £2. How many are you getting? There's hundreds. Does it even tell you? Look like there might be 50 or more in there easily. Maybe 100 in that. It's like guess the sweets, the number of sweets in a jar, isn't it, that one? I don't know how many is in it. I'm going to guesstimate about 100 in that one. So, yeah, I'm sure they'll last us ages. Bought myself some of this Thai jasmine rice. Absolutely love it. I really, really love it. Now, I don't watch the news or anything, 
So people at work have been telling me that some stuff's now in shortage. I've not even, I don't even know that, right? I didn't know that until my pals told me. But apparently rice might be one of the things that goes into like shortage, you know? So if that goes short, at least I've got one pack of ET rice. I love the Thai jasmine rice and I love the sticky rice that they do. I prefer it when it's in half, you know, when it's like there's packs you can get that are separated into two. Now, I really like those, but um, but this were only cheap as well. I'll put all prices on screen if I cannot remember. So I don't think I can remember. I think it was about 89p for that. If it won't, I'll pop it on screen. But yeah, I absolutely love it. You microwave that for two minutes and it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Throw it on the bottom of my bed. What else have I got? Got myself a little um, candle factory candle in lavender fields, but I seem to have lost the lid. Being here somewhere. It is getting right. Got myself a lid. Let's smell it. Oh, it smells really nice. I love lavender. I love any traditional fragrance. Rose, lavender, stuff like that. I absolutely love them. That were only cheap as well. I think that might have been on sale um, bit as well, that one. But just loved it. So I thought I'd have that. Another candle for my spike burning. Then I bought myself these. Now, I'll be honest about it. I haven't bought them for me. I bought them for kiddies at nursery. Right, I think they're just plastic. Yeah, they are. Just plastic. The little, like, outdoor sort of dip bowls that you can use. But I thought the kids would love those in the home corner. Opulent Oasis. So I got two of these bluey sort of colour with orange. And two of the just orangey ones. <clears throat> but they're to put in home corner. Because the kids use little bowls like this all the time. You know, they, they like getting getting a bowl, getting a spoon and doing a bit of stirring. You know, good imaginative play. Do the come, labels come off? Yeah, they do. So labels even come off really well. So fantastic. Really happy with those. Going to take those into work as well. Balance them there. Then I bought this glitter card, right, which were only $1.99. Let's see what colours we get. I feel bad opening a mint shop, you know. I always do feel bad about that. I thought it might be rough, but it's... Oh, no, that's the thing. Yeah, maybe it is rough. Okay. Yeah, it's quite sparkly. What colours have we got? Let's have a look. Right. Silver, gold, purple, green and pink. So you get 10 sheets all together. Really nice. I'm sure we'll use that for something. I bought a load of card from there the other day that wasn't glitter cards. And it's really nice, you know, it works. It's it's good stuff. So, um, you know, it's good quality. What am I talking about? It works. Why would it not work? It's card. But anyway, you know what I mean? It's nice stuff. Good quality. You know, quite thick cards. So nice. Very happy with that. I'm sure we'll think of something to use that for. And then I bought this little pair of shoes, right. They were a fiver, they're Avengers shoes, right. They had all different ones. They're just like that Crocs material, do you know what I mean? But I wanted some that were slightly different in design because I'd bought some that were more sort of girly, you know, um, to take in for the kiddies to try on. But I thought the kids would love these. They're blue for a start and they've got um, a picture on them. So I thought they'd be fantastic just for dressing up. I'll tell you what, if you're after um, little shoes and stuff for your kids for summer, I'd check out some of these bargain shops because between Poundlands and Home Bargains and um, b and I've got quite a few pairs, you know, for work. So really nice. There were a fivers, which is more than I've paid for any others. But it were a pair that would were small enough. Well, they're just small enough for our kiddies. And also, um, I thought they'd like them, you know. They were a bit different. I don't know whether that's supposed to go... Does that go around back? Is it supposed to... Will it go around back or is it just for the front? I'm sure the kids will decide. So, very nice little pair of shoes. Love the little holes around front as well. So cute. And then last up, I bought this. Couldn't resist it, little fella. It were only £3. 
look at him. He's for a garden. Absolutely loved him. Loved his little bow. Loved the fact that he's hanging on this little bit of wood and that he's got a string top so he'll go in the garden at work. I don't have a garden here so I can't put stuff like this out. But the kids will like it because a lot of what we've got out that I've bought for sort of the outdoor area are things like bees and um, even frogs. We've managed to get frogs and little dangly things and stuff. But I just love the idea of it being a little dog. I don't know how long it'll last because I suspect if it falls off a branch, it might break because it's that resin stuff that it's made out of. But I'm sure the kids will really, really love it while it's there. Look at him. He had some pals as well, but I thought I'd check out one. See how the kids like it before I go in and get the get all the rest of them that are in the set. And he was by far the cutest, if you want my opinion. So I went for that one anyway. So that's all my stuff from B&M. Like I say, I'm sorry I've been off for a while, but um, yeah, we're just resting and recuperating, just taking it easy. Last weekend I did an out just ligged on my sofa and sort of took it easy. So, yeah, but I'm pleased I managed to get out and get some stuff. And I'm pleased that I'm back filming again. And and like I say, I hope you're all okay. And I'll check out those messages and see if I can, you know, respond to some of them. Although it might take me a while to get through everything. But that's everything for today. If you've liked this video, please give us a like. It really helps us out. And if you like this kind of content, you might want to consider subscribing. I've left all my contact details in the description box, just in case you want to contact me for any reason. But thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me. Bye!